Hi all, I just want to go through uh, something I just put together. It's a gate that opens and closes and is modular so that you can extend it for however long you want. Um, so you can use it for gates on you know, whatever project you have. Uh, so here's how it works. Is Right now it's closed, obviously. Hit open gets forced up, and the gravel goes down, and then closing it, it goes down like that. So let's go through the operations of it. Um, start from the bottom, because that's the, <laughs> the harder part. Um, so the way it works is uh, opening it, it does exactly what the top does. It just extends pistons in sequence. Um, so it goes uh, from bottom up, so it goes this one, that one, that one, and then that one, all the way up. And the hard part is getting it to retract. Um, that's what this mess over here is. So the first thing that, uh, here I'll extend it upwards, um, let me just break this. So now it's all the way up. Uh, what happens is, is that this space he just limits the pulse. Up, you know, I was having trouble um, keeping things consistent. So what happens is, is that uh, when you press the button, this pulls this down. Then this pulls, uh, hits this one twice. So it goes, pulls that down. Then this gets pulled down by this one, then this one pulls down that one. Then it goes to this one, which does, uh, goes twice. Uh, this one gets pulled down, and then it pulls down this one. And then this one pulls down the last part. So in order to do that, uh, you know, you have the simple wire, this is the easiest part. Then here you have these two. Uh, so it, this does the first one, then this does the second pulse uh, to this guy right here. And then uh, this comes down, it's delayed, and then it goes here and does two pulses. And then it has another offshoot that's delayed, and then it gets the last one. Uh, the biggest problem is getting the timing right with this. It's a huge, huge pain in the ass. Um, but it's worth it, and you know, if you want to make this uh, wider, it's just a matter of um, putting more repeaters on this side and then repeaters on this side coming off of that. With, you would have to move it out a block and then put redstone there. But outside of that works out. So I'll just um, hit this button to see it extends. So let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay. So, and then as you saw how it extended um, in the first part of it. It does the exact same thing up there, and that's what causes it to close down. Uh, what's, um, what's really cool is that it will uh, basically shut itself closed. Um, you know, there, there, you don't have to retract the pistons on the uh, top half because it gets forced up by the bottom half, which simplifies things a bit. Because <laughs> you know, you don't have to to deal with that mess, because it's a huge, huge pain in getting the timing right. So it, it holds that state, and then you go down, and then it gets forced back up. Like that. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you out if you wanted to create like a larger gate. 